Hello, my lovelies. Today I have a massive unplugged book box unboxing for you. So stay tuned. So as you can see, I have seven unplugged book boxes here to show you. I actually have even more than this, but I figured I'd split it up because there's a lot. <laughs> um, so let me move these all out of the way because there were so many I couldn't even set them all up here. Uh, let me move these out of the way and uh, we'll get started. <sighs> okay, these are not in any particular order either. Uh, so I can't tell you how many times all of those things fell all over me trying to set them up. Okay, on to our first box. This one looks like so. This is our November 2022 adult fiction box. I'm way behind on opening these. Just toss all these worms on my floor. I'll clean them up later. This whole room is just filled with junk right now. I need to do like a mass cleaning. <laughs> okay, the first thing I have here is some Nevermore hand cream. Amaretto, maple, and balsam. Okay, then we've got this box. Doesn't say anything on it. I would rather have nothing but tea. I have no idea what this is. So, I don't know. It looks like this, but like it's not a cup or anything. So, I don't know. Let me look in the little pamphlet. Maybe it tells. Okay, I think this actually goes with something else that we'll get in the box. So... All right, we have a candle here. Uh, Holden Morrissey Caulfield, Essence of Pride. Ooh, that's very fruity. Vampire's Blood, Vampire PLLA Face Mask Powder. Okay. Then we have uh, a little ruler bookmark. So we have this little ceremonial grade matcha by Jade Leaf. It's just like a little small thing. And then we also have a little matcha whisk. And then a matcha spoon. This is Dracarys. And apparently this is a uh, whisk holder and utensil rest. So I guess we like... You put your whisk in there. That's all I can figure. And then we have the book and a print and the letter from the author. This is such a pretty book. It's The Secret Garden of Yanagi Inn by Amber A. Logan. And the uh, edges. So pretty. It says a modern gothic retelling of the secret garden. The letter here says, Dear reader, when I was younger, I loved The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgkin Burnett and the 1993 film adaptation, of course. But whenever I read the book or watched the film, a little part of me always whispered, Yeah, but what if there really was a ghost? That gentle reader that gentle reader was my inspiration for the secret garden of Yanagi Inn. My mind started generating other questions as well. What if instead of moving from the east, India, to the west, England, my main character moved from the west, US, to the east, Japan? What if the garden was an overgrown Japanese garden and the robin was a red-crowned crane? And before long, I knew I had a story I was dying to tell, and those I have found are the very best stories to tell. While the Secret Garden of Yagnagi Inn is part ghost story, it is also a book about grief and healing, about family and friendship. It's about following one's dreams, but also about finding one's true home. My greatest wish is that you will grab a warm mug of tea, find a cozy reading spot, and enjoy your journey with to Yagnagi Inn alongside Mary Lennox. Happy reading. And the end pages are just blank, but ooh, this is what the book looks like without 
the dust jacket. So pretty. Okay, that's everything in that box. Let me put some of this away so I can get to the next box. All right, this one's heavy. This is the November 2022 adult fiction box. Wait, isn't that what the other one said? I'm so confused. Yeah, they both say they're different themes, but they both say adult fiction box. My guess is one of these is YA. Oh yeah, this one's actually YA because when you open it up, it actually says YA inside of it. Okay, we have Fairy Fruit 24 karat gold face mask. Nice. Another white box. This is Rush, Essence of Enchanted Adventure. This is fruity, but also spicy. Let's see, does it say what the scent is? It's nature inspired. There's like, I don't know, some kind of fruit, but there's also cinnamon. Then we have Cabe's Water, The Tree Speak Latin. Forest, rain, and whispers, salt scrub. Weird. Okay, we have a wireless gaming mouse. That's a first. Um, huh. Xander might like that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it lights up. There is a little cable in there to charge it. Okay, then we've got some socks here. I don't know what those are supposed to be from. Oh, Alice in Wonderland socks. Oh, cool. Okay. All right, and then we've got our book and a letter from the author. This is We Could Be Villains by Megan McCullough. And it says uh, The Vigil and Anti Files, book one. And this is what the edges look like. Um, it is signed. There is a reversible jacket. And the book looks like this. So pretty. And there's our print with our letter. It says, Dear Unplugged Reader, We Can Be Villains wasn't originally the book I planned to debut with. In the beginning, it was a story meant for my eyes only. As taboo as this might sound, it began as fan fiction celebrating Marvel and fandom as a whole. Somewhere along the way, the characters and world became their own, and I desperately wanted to share them with you. I can't wait for you to meet Rosemary, Ironfall, Sam, and the Vigil team. Each one carries a piece of my heart. Rosemary not only battles villains, but she also fights anxiety, something I've struggled with my whole life. I didn't know I officially had anxiety until a couple of years ago, but it's still a side of me I've always wanted to see in a character. Ironfall struggles with being enough. He's broken and lonely. Sam is, well, Sam, and I love him for it. I hope this book not only lets you escape to a world where your favorite heroes are real, but also helps you feel seen and loved. Who knows, maybe you'll learn something along the way. On behalf of myself and the entire cast of characters, happy reading. All right. On to the next box. Okay. This one looks like so. This says, as part of our recently announced green initiative, we're doing a trial run of digital spoilers. We know the pamphlets often get thrown out or lost, so in an effort to reduce waste, we're moving all spoilers to our website. Flip this card over and enter the URL or scan the QR code with your smartphone's camera to review this month's spoilers. I kind of like the pamphlet, but okay. And then we got some peanuts. I'm going to have quite a time cleaning up all this. Okay, so I don't know. I wish it at least said on here, like, what month. If it was YA or adult. <laughs> okay, let's start with this thing. It's a blanket, I think. It is not a blanket. It looks kind of like a blanket or a towel. Or something. It's about the size of a towel. However, hold on. I freaking love this. <laughs> it's got three little snaps 
to hold it on you. So you're just, you're wrapped in a blanket. I love it. Okay, then we've got Natural Pure Honest Star Cross Lovers, uh, Roses, Apothecary Poison, and Old Verona. Oh, it's a candle. A very pretty, like, pink metal can. Oh, it smells really good, too. Very soft, kind of sweet, but not like candy sweet, but like vanilla sweet. And then we've got Flower, Gleam, and Glow Lavender Shampoo Bar. Uh, one Dawn Soothing Sweet Orange Facial Oil. Cool. This box almost feels empty. It's like a Cheshire Cat wind chime type thing. I need to put that back in the box so it doesn't get broken for now. Okay, our book is Hunterland by Dana Claire. And the end pages look like this. And the book, oh, so pretty. Looks like that. Okay, this says, a string of murdered teachers at Falkville Falls High summons a secret, secretive hunter family, experts in slaying every monster known to man. When Liam Hunter teaches responsible student Olivia Davis that monsters are real, her world comes crashing down. But in a twist of fate, so do the walls around Liam's heart. Is there a letter from the author? It is signed. I don't see a letter from the author on that one. Okay, next box. All right, this one looks like so. I don't see a card again. So let's just dig in. This is very cool. So it's uh, like for iced coffee or whatever. It says, give me coffee or give me space. Godly brew. And it's like a little glass with a little wooden top and it's got a place for your straw to go in. Very nice. I keep these glass things in their box until I bring them where they belong so they're not as likely to get broken. All right, what is this? Vigil and Anti Loofah Soap, Floral Explosion and Mayhem. And here I'll show you the back so you can see it. Just smells like soap. And Essence of the Ocean Breeze, Percy Jackson. Oh, that's a really nice smell. Kind of a, gives me like men's cologne vibes. I got a little lip balm here. I turned my nightmares into fireflies and caught them in a jar. This is from The Dreamer and it's Blue Raspberry Nightmares Lip Balm. Then I have no idea what this is. Um, so we have these little light things and they each have their own little power cord. It says when it rains look for rainbows and on the other side it says when it's dark look for stars. And there's like a mode speed, color bright, and power. And then they have like a little stand. And I guess the light changes. I don't know. But yeah, we have two of those. That's kind of neat. I'll have to try these out. Oh, it's a sound controlled, colorful music atmosphere lamp. That's neat. Oh, and here's a straw for our little glass thing. Our little iced coffee thingy. Okay, then our book is Into the Churn by Haley Reese Chow. love these edges. Oh my goodness. So pretty. The end pages look like this. And the book without the jacket looks like that. And this does have a reversible one as well. We don't have a letter from the author on this one either. Uh, let's see. Earth was tame. Aletheia is not. 
17-year-old Ezrin Hart interns in her mother's terraforming lab studying Boethius deadly storms with the dream of giving her backwater planet open teal skies. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Oh, here we go. Um, Into the Churn is perfect for fans of underdog heroes, slow burn romance, and high stakes sci-fi. Into the Churn races across a new planet of savage storms and dazzling tech. Fall in love with Ezrin and Foster as they battle side by side to save their scrappy world on a ruthless interplanetary stage where appearances are everything, speed meets survival, and the only thing deadlier than the storms are the other racers. All right. Okay, on to the next box. We got the little card again. So we do have a letter from the Unplugged team. I'm guessing this is a March box because it says we wanted to apologize once more for the delay on your March boxes. Our book printer unexpectedly extended print time. This is something we were not made aware of in time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Also, something has exploded in here. There's powder, like smelly good powder, but there's powder on everything. Like a bath bomb or bath salts kind of got on everything. Probably this. This says Undead Truth Bubble Bath. As Mathis, Jasmine, and Candula. Yeah, oop, crap. Yep, that's that's what it is. <laughs> Whew. Let me move that somewhere. Over there. Everything in this box is coated with that. Okay. Don't know what this is. It's on a little carabiner. It says District 12. Oh, it's a little metal straw and a little brush to clean it. This says, I don't know, I dropped it. <laughs> okay, this says Mr. Jitters Sugar Scrub Soap Jasmine Deep Woods Black Current. Okay. So much stuff everywhere. Okay, this is Essence of Scarlet. Very like candy scented. I'm kind of glad that they're sealing all the books in plastic because this is not going to be all up in the book. Okay, this is so freaking cute. It's like, it's a little mushroom bowl. Like, how adorable is that? Looks like a little mushroom. Oh, that's so cute. I'll set that, I don't know where. I'll set that there for now. We got some little placemats or, yeah, that's cute. Or napkins or something. There's two of them. That's very cute. And then we have our book. <laughs> Before I open up the book, just look. <laughs> okay, our book is Speak No Evil by Leanne Gardner. The reversible dust jacket looks like so. The end pages look like this. And the book looks like so. This is the daughter of Appalachian snake handlers becomes a ward of the state after her eerie gift causes a tragedy that leaves her orphaned. Okay. I've got this stuff all over my pants now. All right, on to the next box. This is a very heavy one. Okay, this looks like so. This is the December 2022 young adult box. It's like a very cool planner pad. It's got 
it's not dated or anything, but it's just got Sunday through Saturday, reminders, notes. You can write your monthly calendar here. And it's just a really nice thick pad. Okay, this is very, very, very cool. All right, we have a really nice long table runner here. Dreamer Deja Vu. And then like, it has these pretty tassels. I'm not gonna undo the tassels right now, but this is really, really nice. I will use this um, later once we get this particular table we have ordered. We ordered like forever ago. Essence of Innocence, Asteroid 8612. I don't, I'm not sure how to explain this scent. It's kind of like foresty. Oh, that's the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue Table Runner. This is the Little Prince Candle. Doesn't tell anything about the scent though. Okay, so we have a Lord of the Rings banner scarf. It says, someone else always has to carry on the story. This is kind of cool. I might gift this to uh, one of my book buddies of the month or something because I don't, I don't really wear a lot of scarves. Then we've got Lila Ray's. I have no idea what this is. It just says, use generous amounts to spread into hands and body for a luxurious experience. I have to look at this because I don't I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a Cuban girl's guide to tea and tomorrow body butter. Okay. And then we've got a bookmark here. It looks like a Narnia bookmark. It says courage, dear heart, and on the back it says one day you'll be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. And then we have a print with the author's letter. All right, the book is Death by Society by Sierra Elmore. It's really pretty. It is signed. Our end pages look like this. And the book. Looks like that. I see on the back it says, you've never seen mean girls like this. All right, this says, uh, hey, Unplugged Book Box fam. Thank you for reading Death by Society. I wrote the short story that became this novel while I was being bullied in middle school, as well as about some other traumas my friends and I were going through at the time. My biggest wish is that you find some hope throughout the pages of this novel as you read about Carter and Abby's misadventures. Remember, things will be okay. We've all been through a lot, especially the past few years. But your past doesn't define you. Your future does. And what a bright, beautiful future it is. And this says, Mean Girls meets It's a Kind of Funny Story When Two Teenage Girls' Worlds Collide When One Attempts Suicide to Avoid Toxic Popularity. Okay. All right, this is the final box, and I hear stuff rolling around. Hopefully something didn't explode in this one. Okay, oop. I think this is leaking somewhere. Oh, yep. This is Best Foot Forward. It's like bath salt or foot soak or something. And yeah, the big chunks of salt are what's falling out, I believe. At least it's not as dusty as the other stuff. Then we've got Ever After Bath Bomb Cotton Candy Magic. And it's a little cloud and it does a rainbow thing. That's cute. Essence of Comfort. Oh, this smells like, I don't know, baking something. This smells really good. Ooh, we have like a little travel cup here, a glass one, and it's Narnia. And it's got the little silicone top. Cool. And then, I don't know what 
this is. I think this is like a curtain. I, it's weird. I mean, there is like a thing to put a rod through it. I don't know if you're supposed to like put this in a door because it's like a door frame size. But not necessarily door length. But it, it splits here. I'm kind of guessing it's a curtain. What does it say? It's better to know one book intimately than hundreds superficially. I think this might be another one that I gift to a book buddy of the month at some point in time. Because I don't think I would actually use this. Oh, this one actually did have a little thing. This was the Young Adult January 2023 box. The theme was Buried Secrets. Okay, that was the Secret History Door Curtains. They can be used in open doorways or over doors with windows. Okay. Okay, so the book is The Nightland Express by J.M. Lee. There's not a reversible dust jacket. Uh, the end pages look like this. And the book looks like so. And we do have a letter here. It says, Dear Reader, As a child, I was always enamored with stories of the Pony Express. That idea of a hero on a horse racing across the Wild West to deliver the all-important mail. But the more I learned about this iconic image enshrined within American legend, the more I unraveled the unsettling and uncomfortable truth of the pony's place in, in the history and tradition of violence and colonization. Although this is not the Pony Express book that my child self might have thought I would, be, I would write, it is the Pony Express book I wound up writing in the end. Jesse and Ben's tale is one of adventure, identity, transformation, and self-discovery. It's also a song of heartache and loss, and ultimately, it's one of reckoning. I hope it gives you the courage to look behind you to see where you've come from and the strength to ride into the future as the best version of yourself. <sighs> all right. That's everything in all seven of these Unplugged Book Boxes. What was your favorite item? I think my favorite item is probably this little blanket that snaps around. I love it. I am such like a, a, a texture person and I just, I love this soft feel and uh, have it like just snapped on and I don't have to like hold it on me. It's great because I'm lazy like that. Okay, <laughs> the book that I think I'm most interested in it's probably between these two here, either Death by Society or Speak No Evil. Have you heard of any of these books? Are you interested in reading any of them? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.